And now this question tonight, uh, how can you experience the excitement of a dome event and get paid doing that? We got the answer. Apply right now to work dome concessions. News Channel 9's Jeff Kulikowski is also tracking local jobs and says Syracuse University is urgently looking to fill hundreds of these positions. Just as much a part of going to the dome as cheering on the orange from the stands is going up to the concession stands for nachos, dog, and a drink. It takes hundreds of people, though supervisors, part timers, students, nonprofit groups, each event to make sure people get served and back quickly so they miss as little of the action as possible. Fans do expect good service when they come to the dome, and we want to make sure we can provide it. Um, right now, with, with us being a little short staffed, there have been times that our lines were a little longer than they needed to be or should have been. And we're trying to do everything we can to shorten those lines to improve the fan experience. Tewksbury says the reason they're having such a difficult time hiring people for these jobs is that unemployment is so low in our community that pretty much everyone who wants to work can work. And also, because other organizations and, and companies are short staffed, they're offering overtime to their staff. So they don't need the part-time work here at the Dome or anywhere else in the community. Supervisors may work an eight-hour shift for football, regular part-timers four to six hours. Shifts for hoops may be a little shorter. All-day events like field band competition would obviously be longer. Tewksbury is also putting out the call to another group of longtime concession stand workers, nonprofit groups. Our nonprofit organizations receive a percentage of the concession sales for the event. Um, so for a small event, we'll make sure that we guarantee at least $500 for the group. And for Clemson, we had groups that earned as much as $3,500. Not bad. And remember, there are events all the time at the Dome. It's not just SU football and men's basketball. There's women's SU hoops, high school sports, band competitions, much, much more. And they're planning to head to next year, 2020, especially when that roof project is done next football season. Make sure they are all staffed up, Christy. Jeff, thank you. And